in an effort to keep their cruises family friendly, Carnival has enforced a dress code which bans any clothing they deem to be offensive, and which is a tough one because who decides which clothes are offensive and which clothes are not? We actually tracked down the person who does make that decision. His name is Gil Fredericks. He's the director of PR for Carnival Cruise, and uh, he's with us now. Hello. Hey, Gil, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Hi, Gil. Ahoy, Jimmy. Well, ahoy to you, too, Gil. Are you actually on a ship right now? Yes, indeedy. I'm oh. in my office aboard Carnival's flagship cruiser, Sensuality on the Sea. Oh. Hang on, a, hang on a second. Okay, yeah. Attention all passengers. The box office is now open for tonight's performance of Murder, She Wrote on Ice, featuring 94-year-old Angela Lansbury. On ice. <laughs> Hurry to get a good spot in the front, but remember, no running. <laughs> all right, well... Okay, good. well, so I want to ask you about this new dress code that you've instituted. All right, nosy Nancy, ask away. Uh, well, what is the reason for it? It's very simple, really. We don't want to expose our passengers, many of whom are families and people of lower intelligence, uh -huh. to some of the crude and offensive messages on these shirts. Oh, uh, okay, but can you give us, like, some examples of what might not be allowed? Heck, I can show you. Oh, great. Oh, okay, terrific. But before I do, I'm warning you, this is some disturbing stuff. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. I mean, some of this stuff you wouldn't even see scrawled with a switchblade onto a toilet seat in a crack house. Uh, well, this is it's a late night show and uh some of these shirts I wouldn't bury Hitler in if he was spooning typhoid Mary in Jeffrey Epstein's bouncy castle. Well, uh, listen. It's, uh, we we can handle it, I promise, okay? All right, Ernesto, come here. What? The head of security, Ernesto, has him. Oh, Ernesto. <laughs> is, your, is your name Ernesto, sir? Si. Okay. <laughs> See, indeed, and seeing is believing. <laughs> Ernesto, show him the contraband. <laughs> yeah, show us the contraband, Ernesto. Oh. I took this one off a lady at the All You Can Eat Pulled a Pork Buffet. This oh, morning. boy. It says federal balls and stuff. Yeah, I see. Isn't that terrible? Yes, it is terrible. And by the way, I called around. Uh huh. There is no such federal agency. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there is not. What other <laughs> horrors do we have in that box, Ernesto? <laughs> if you can read this, <laughs> mind you, if you can read this, uh -huh. the bitch fell overboard. Yeah. Now that happens more than you think. Into what? And it's not funny at all. No. Have you ever pulled a body out of the ocean, Jimmy? No, I have not pulled a body out of the ocean. Sometimes they don't have eyes. Oh, my God. There oh. is no God, Jimmy. Oh, wow. Oh. Ernesto, <laughs> read the next shirt. <laughs> what is that? Oh. It is Viagra O'Clock. Oh. It's Viagra O'Clock. OK. Now, Believe me, if there was such a time, uh -huh. I would know about it. Okay. <laughs> I sometimes need a little help with the old trouser trousers. I understand. I, that's very normal, I think. <laughs> this next shirt, this was an unfortunate. We had to confiscate this one oh. because of a typo. Oh. All hands on Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. The Chinese who made this spelled deck with an I. Oh, well, I don't know that that's a typo. I, I... Well, whatever it is, we have the guy who was wearing it locked up in our jail. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> and then there's this. Kiss me, I'm Irish. Well, why is that offensive? We can't have an Irish on board. We've got an open bar for Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, that seems, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> uh, yeah. What else do you have in there, Ernesto? All right. <laughs> I'm hungry. Well, that seems fine. What's wrong with I'm hungry? Well, it does, until you see the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. OK, says, now I see, yeah. For that sweet ass. Yeah, I, I can read that, yes. And it's got, yes. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, no. Oh. oh, oh, my gosh. Attention, all passengers. Due to an overdose of Mexican Dramamine, Murder, She Wrote on Ice has been postponed. Oh, no. Filling in will be the very talented magician David Copperberg. <laughs> have you seen him work? No, I have not seen him work. He's very good. He pulled a life vest out of my bottom. Well, <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> What's happening? Oh no. We hit an iceberg. Oh you wait, aren't you sailing the Caribbean? Global warming, Jimmy. Everything's all up. Okay, well. <laughs> Attention all passengers, we're going down. <laughs> well, most of you saw the movie Titanic, so you know what to do. And remember, you can always use a fat person as a flotation device. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Ernesto, I hope you didn't hear that. Well, I'll, I'll let you guys go. It seems like you've got your hands full there. Thank you, Gil and Ernesto, on the Carnival Cruise. I, uh... I am Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season by my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and illustrated it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. So um, you know what to do.